Hey guys, if you want to see how I made these initial resin glitter keychain clips, then keep watching. Okay, so I seen someone on TikTok post Joanne had the molds to make these keychains. So here I am at Joanne's looking for them. And to my surprise, they had so many resin craft supplies. So definitely check out your local Joanne. Okay, so I end up getting this mold and these little screws and the drill and jump rings from Joanne. And this resin is from Michaels. It is fast cure. You have to work very fast. It, you have like a 10 minute, 15 minute working time. And I love it because I can pop them out in one or two hours. I got this glitter from Michaels and these from Dollar Tree. Okay, so now I'm just mixing equal parts resin together. Um, you always make sure you're protected when working with resin or epoxy. Make sure you're adding equal parts uh, so your product doesn't come out sticky. And make sure you scrape the sides and get all of it out. Um, I do suggest using measuring cups because you can never be too careful. I've been using this stuff for a very long time. Um, years, so many years. So I had a pretty good eyeball on it, but I always take proper precaution when using this stuff and mix well. Well, um, yeah, I'm just going to add the glitter and mix and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so now I'm just adding the resin to the letters. I'm not going to fill them up all the way. Um, I do like to add another coat once this kind of um, stiffens up a little bit. So you'll see me go and add another coat because with this chunky glitter, it tends to fall to the bottom. And I like it on the bottom and I like it on the top. I like mine's really, really glittery. So I add a lot of glitter and I make sure I add another layer to the top. And that's all I'm doing in these next clips. Again, I'm just adding my extra layer on top and sometimes I even go back if it's too like glittery feeling, not smooth. I might even go back and add another thin layer of um, resin or epoxy and I'll do like a dome effect. And I'm also going to get the bubbles out. Um, It wasn't many, but yeah so this is kind of how it looks i think i'm gonna add some more yeah i added some more to these and yeah
Okay, when working with the fast curing resin, um, they are ready to pop out within like two and a half hours, um, sometimes less. But the working time is super fast, but it still needs 24 hours to cure. So keep that in mind. And when I use this um, drill, at first it was complicated, but it gets easier. Just be careful, don't go too deep. And I just go back and forth, back and forth until I make it, you know, deep enough for, to put the screw in. I add a little E6000 glue to the screw and I just screw it in. It's really simple. I don't know what I was doing first time around, but really easy. And I sit it on some wax paper and give it some time to cure. And that's it for that. Okay, so now I am going to make the clips and I just use wire um, 16 gauge, 14 gauge, I'm sorry, 14 gauge wire. Um, I like this one from Hobby Lobby, but Joanne still sells it and the alligator clips also from Hobby Lobby. And you're going to need jump rings and beads from Dollar Tree or Walmart or Hobby Lobby, preferably, and fringes and pom-poms i make them myself so oh and yes tools you will need those that is a uh, wire cutter and Okay, here I'm just taking the uh, jewelry pliers and curving it underneath to make a complete circle. And um, then I'm going to measure out the wire and cut it at the length that I desire. And after that, I'm going to take the beads and E6000 glue and glue and kind of bead them at the same time. And everything else will be kind of self-explanatory so I'll just let you watch and I also decided to mark my wire cutter on the side that cuts but yeah you can just continue to watch very easy I also glue on the alligator clip and once it dries, I go back and use the pliers to close it.
And now I'm just gonna take the jump rings and take my pliers and to twist them open. Um, very easy, twist one side, twist both sides opposite directions of each other. And just add everything on, all your charms on the jump ring and close it. Sorry, I didn't notice I was out of the camera. But yeah, it's real simple. Um, I actually added a split ring to the jump rings, which you'll see in the final picture. But, oh, and also close your alligator clips. I glue them with the E6000 and I go back when they dry and close them with those pliers. I just push them closed, very easy. And y'all, I love how they came out. I just took my Cricut and added um, some vinyl Michaels from Michaels. They sell um, 651 vinyl. They sell removable vinyl. And yes, period. They came out so cute. I love them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.